welcome back to my channel according to cat if you are new here please introduce yourself in the comments below if you're returning just say hi and what are we going to be making today well today we are making some more home decor pieces on a budget using dollar tree and other really affordable products if you want to see how i made all of these make sure you stay tuned if you'd like to know what products i've used check out the description box below and there should be a whole list down there for you and with all that being said let's get right into the video Let's start out with DIY number one. So the first thing you will need are these wood planks from the Dollar Tree and this apple barrel paint in Holly Branch. It is a really nice green color and I love it. So I'm just pouring a little bit right here on this Dollar Tree wood plank. I love these wood planks. They're super thick and I can use them for so many different projects. I gave it one good coat, but I did go over any lighter areas with a second coat and I got the edges as well. Now I found this paper pack from Dollar Tree and I can tell you when I first saw this pack, I loved that green piece of paper. There's all different types of um, thick papers and shiny papers and all just different types of paper. I love it. How many times can I say paper? I am going to cut that in a simple square and I'm just checking the edges to make sure that it's a 90 degree angle. Next, I decided to kind of just fold up the edges a little bit and I thought that it gave that textured square some dimension and it also then pulled away from the wooden square a bit. Now that fabric paper, it almost had a burnt, what's that fabric called? Um, velvet, like a burnt velvet look. I just loved it together. And now I'm going to use the product that I'm going to craft in three ways. So this is a craft it in three ways video where I'm collabing with two of my friends, which I will talk more about that in a minute. So for the Craft It Three Ways Challenge, I decided to go for the bamboo wind chimes from the Dollar Tree as my uh, piece that I'm crafting in all three DIYs. So next I'm taking the Dollar Tree bamboo cutting board and I'm just getting that ready to layer everything on top of each other. So I'm going, going to take a little hot glue, put on that velvet a piece of paper and I'm just going to place it right in the middle of that wooden plank that we already painted green and that's dry and ready to go. Now I'm taking some twine, a piece of that bamboo from the actual wind chime. Now that's one of the smallest pieces. That was a little too small so I decided to use the next size up that I saw. I did have two packages of wind chimes and that allowed me to be more selective in the shape of it or the size of it because they were all different. So every bag you get from the Dollar Tree will be different. You can see I'm just taking that twine and I am just threading it right through that wind chime piece and I am going right around that plank three times. I will then turn it over and I will tie a little knot in the back and cut off any excess and get that ready to be glued down to the bamboo cutting board also from the Dollar Tree. Next up, I'm going to hot glue those pieces together. I put a pretty big puddle of hot glue and the reason I did that is because the twine being on the back, it, it almost created a seesaw effect and I wanted that puddle to kind of balance that out and pull away a little bit. And you could see that it's not directly flat on the cutting board. So at first I tried hot glue to put these bamboo sticks on the sides and it kind of just pulled away because you know those cutting boards are real slick. So I decided to use the um, super glue gel that you get from the Dollar Tree as well. And it doesn't stick immediately, but give it a couple minutes and it will stick permanently. So you don't need a lot either. So I just put a little uh, stream of it on both sides and then I put those bamboo rods on either side. Again, those are from the wind chimes. This really did have a feng shui look to it and I feel all my pieces, pieces kind of came out that way and it kind of made a little collection, which I loved. Now I'm just making a little stand for the back 
using the tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree and you can see I made a little T and then I glued that right to the back. I did put it on the wrong side and then I realized that and then I flipped it over and this is done. I hope you like it as much as I do. Looking up at a tree, I remember how it started. I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said an open road. I've already found some light, the feeling grows. And anything sounds alright, I'm breaking loose. Living in and the moving on to DIY in number my two. But first I wanna talk about the Craft It Three Ways Challenge. I'm collabing with my good friends, Lisa from Lisa and & Company and Casey from Coffee With My Sunshine. And the Craft It Three Ways Challenge is when you take one item and you DIY it three different ways. Right here you can see one I did where I took a Dollar Tree mop head and I created three different DIYs using that mop head. I'll link that video also below. But my really good friend Lisa from Lisa & Company reached out to me and she asked if I would like to do a collab with her and Casey. And of course I said yes. They are two of the very good friends I've made here on YouTube and I love both of them and their channels. So make sure you go check them out. I will link their videos and their channels down below as well. And if you are new here, my name is Kat and I like to make home decor on a budget. So make sure you check out my videos and possibly subscribe. I would love if you did. And also make sure you check out Lisa and Casey's uh, videos and I will again will link those down below. So let's get back to the DIYs. So the first thing I'm using is this Waverly Antique Wax. I love this antique wax. It, I use it as a stain and I'm staining this wooden tray from the Dollar Tree. I'm giving it obviously a very messy coat, but that's okay because I'm going to go back with a baby wipe and just wipe away any excess. And I like to do that because it does tend to get a little dark and that antique wax antique wax is a little watered down. Now I'm going to take this truffle chalk paint by Waverly and I'm just touching up any areas the wax did not take. Okay, now I'm taking these Dollar Tree mini glass containers. I love these and you can see I made a a uh, very cool DIY using one of them recently. You do get four in the pack, so I did have three left. I'll link that video um, as well. It is so cute. I loved how that turned out, and I wanted to use the rest of these little glass containers. They're kind of like, I don't know, they're very tiny, but they are just so cute. Now I'm taking some twine, and I'm going to cut three pieces to make little loops for each of those jars. I'm kind of doing it the same way that I did the last DIY where I made a knot. You can see I am taking one of those bamboo um, pieces from the wind chimes that I'm crafting in three ways. And I'm kind of looping it over just to make sure I have enough height or not enough height so that it fits in perfectly. Made a little knot. Oh, if you're liking this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And you can see I'm making a little knot in three of them. And then I am getting them all ready to attach to those little glass containers putting a little hot glue there and I will just put that right on and I will cut off any excess right underneath that knot. And I have the third one that I'm going to do next. They were all different lengths and I wanted them to be, I didn't want them to be all perfect. Like the loops are all different lengths um, so that they hung at different heights on that bamboo rod. That bamboo rod fit in there perfectly, but I had to find one that fit in there perfectly. So again, having two packs of the wind chimes worked out great for me just to give me some options. Now I'm taking some hot glue and some extra twine and I'm going to wrap right around that knot that's already there that will hold that in place and it will also add another really cool element to the top of each of these glass containers. 
put a little hot glue at the end of it and then stick that twine down and then cut off whatever's left over. And I will do that to all three glass containers. Now I'm just taking this uh, flame and burning off any extra fuzz. You can see the difference it makes and how clean it looks compared to how fuzzy it looks. So that's what I'm doing right here. And they're all ready to go. Now I'm going to thread them right onto that bamboo chime. And I am taking these wooden blocks and I'm going to hot glue them right inside. You can see I'm using the lid of those glass containers as uh, just a guide to where I want to place the tumbling block. That is going to allow me to hot glue that wind chime to something and so that there's not all hot glue like pouring out the top of there. So you won't see that hot glue. Do you see how I'm putting it right there on those tumbling blocks? And then I will take the wind chime and carefully place it right there and that's what it's going to glue to. now I'm just adjusting the little glass pieces. I did move those over a bit, but before I do that, I'm going to add some sprigs of greenery that I already had in my stash. And I love these because it goes with the whole feng shui look and it just looks so pretty. And I just put those little sprigs right inside. Now, I felt like it still needed something and I wasn't sure what, so I decided to go to my stash of wooden letters that I get from Amazon. I'll link those down below because I use these on a lot of projects and I just love them so much. I'm using a little piece of a uh, wood slab that I had. You could use a popsicle stick and cut off the ends. And I'm just using super glue gel and hot, uh, not hot gluing, just super gluing those little letters on. And you can see I'm going to put it right on the top with this tumbling block, backing it so that it has something to adhere to right on top of that wooden um, crate. And the hot glue worked out fine for that. The reason I use the super glue for the letters is because it is such a tiny point it gives me more precision when I'm putting those letters on and you can see how the tumbling block created a little T effect on the back so I could hot glue that on and this is done I hope you like it as much as I do Last up is DIY number three, but first, I just want to take a quick moment and thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, it is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative people just like us on topics including illustration, design, photography, and even crafting. Skillshare is for so many different levels. You could be a beginner, a pro, or all the way to a master, and you will find so many classes just for you. I love that most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. You can see right here on your screen that they're broken up into segments. So you could watch them in like five minute increments, or you can watch it all at once. One class that I took that I loved was building an Etsy shop that sells by Parker Guard. I thought it was really helpful because it gave me strategies that I could use when I opened my Etsy shop, and it also gave me examples of shops that are successful. I'm so excited because the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So if you would like access to thousands of inspiring classes, make sure you check Skillshare out. 
Okay, so first thing I'm doing is I'm taking this Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. I love this color. It is kind of like an off-white, but it adds a really cool effect when you paint things like tin cans. Now, I could have used spray paint, but I didn't have any of this color, so I'm just using regular chalk paint, which is amazing and sticks to everything. I gave this a very, very good healthy coat. Now I'm taking these wind chime set from the Dollar Tree. It is a different color. I did not end up using this set. I did go back to the first set. I thought I was going to use it, but then I wanted everything to kind of have a cohesive look, so I went back to the lighter wood. Now I'm taking this ribbon that I've had for a while. I got at Costco a long time ago during the holidays, and I liked it. It was neutral, and I thought it would fit in with a lot of DIYs. So I'm just wrapping it around and I'm hot gluing that on. I will only hot glue in the back because you will see it through the ribbon and I didn't want to see that obviously. So you can see right here, I am going to cut off any excess and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other ribbon. So now it's going to be an extra thick piece of ribbon because we will cover up that middle. I like to do that sometimes when I want a thick ribbon and I don't have it. I will just double it up and then I will put a, another ribbon layered into the middle. And you can see I'm using my little rubber spatula from the Dollar Tree and I love to craft with it. It is super handy. Now I'm taking a burlap ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around the middle, hot glue that right on. However, we're not gonna get super attached to that middle ribbon because I do end up taking it off. So at first I liked it, I thought that looked really cute, and then I put on this wooden piece, and then I was like, no, that doesn't go with the cohesive look. So then I went and got the lighter wood one, and that definitely was what I wanted to go with. I took those same Amazon wooden letters, the same super glue, and I'm spelling out the word grow, which I put vertically rather than horizontally. Again, I like using that super glue just because of the precision tip. Also, it gives me a second before it dries because hot glue does dry rather quickly. And once you put the letter on, you have no time to move it. So that's why the super glue gives me that little bit of time so I can keep it straight. And I'm only putting a dot of glue on each of those letters. I do not put a lot on. And there you go. Super cute. Love it. Those letters are the perfect size for so many crafts. That's why I love them. And plus, you get like nine sets of each letter in each package. And then you get numbers and other things. It's such a great deal for $9.99. You cannot beat it. Again, I'll link that below. So this is where I changed that min middle layered a ribbon and I'm adding on this Dollar Tree ribbon. I love that chevron look and it just added another cool element to this piece and I really think it needed that. So I'm glad I made that change. Again, I'm using that super glue just because I only could put it right on those. Since it was like arced like that, I had to make sure I only got the glue right on those edges and that precision tip helped me do that. And I put it right there on that ribbon and it stuck beautifully. And I will just straighten that out. And then next up, I'm going to take a Dollar Tree pool noodle. And that hole in the middle of the pool noodle is going to allow me to take the stem of the succulent and put it right inside. Perfect little tip right now. That way you don't need to put as many rocks in. Those rocks are also from the Dollar Tree. That succulent's from the Dollar Tree. And this is done. I hope you like it as much as I do. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action What we can be like with no distractions
And here we are at the final reveal, my favorite part of the video because we get to recap everything we just made. So the first thing we made was this Feng Shui little plaque. Love how it turned out. It is so earthy looking and gives me really good vibes. Next up was the home planters in the crate. I just love this, great elements, and it looks so pretty in my home decor. And last up, we have the grow planter. This is just really pretty and can fit in pretty much anywhere, and it's really cute. So tell me in the comments below, which one is your favorite? I'm gonna go with the home crate planter. This was just so cool looking and I absolutely love it. And don't forget to go check out my friends Lisa and Casey from the Craft It Three Ways Challenge. I will link their videos and channels down below. Thanks guys. So that's it, that's the end of my video. I hope you liked everything you saw here today and I hope it inspires you to make something of your own. If you have not checked me out at Instagram over at Cat Luna Designs, please do so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you did. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, welcome back to my channel, According to Cat. If you are new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. Why am I looking? Stop looking to the side. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you.